AI is everywhere. Art, essays, dating apps. But what about drilling? In geothermal, we chase what we can't see, the heat beneath our feet. And now, AI is popping up in those conversations. But who's actually using it? Or is it just noise? We asked around. People say that they're using AI, but few want to talk about it. Is it the hype? The risk of sounding too experimental or not experimental enough? Maybe we just don't know what to say yet. Meanwhile, big tech is making big moves. Meta is partnering with Sage Geosystems, and Google is backing both Fervo and Bislot Capital. And Microsoft and G42 are planning a geothermal-powered data center in Kenya. And these aren't just green PR stunts, they're strategic. Because, let's face it, AI needs clean, reliable and baseload energy. And geothermal can deliver on that. But it's not just a one-way street. If AI really needs geothermal, then maybe the real question for us is, how can AI then also help geothermal? According to Forbes, startups like Sansker are already answering that question. They're using AI and machine learning to layer geophysical data in order to predict where the heat hides below. The goal? Smarter drilling, less costs and lower risk. At Week, Zanskar CEO Carl Hoyland explained that AI is not just about finding deep resources, it's actually improving the risk return profile of a geothermal project. Yeah, so there's an interesting nuance here. We often think about the benefit of these types of technologies or subsurface characterization. On the one hand, can help you make a better decision, say, instead of drill here, drill there, and you'll be closer to the right resource. But what we find is actually more important in these types of decisions is quantifying the uncertainty in a way that you can run a financial model. What is the real risk and return profile here and what is the right capital to match that? And so in this case, there was really enough data to generally know the right area, but where most operators and, and I think other potential bidders in the market struggled with is really wrapping their head around the true realm of possibility. If you drill this well, how many of those scenarios might end up dry, how many might end up underperforming, and how many are there. And that's really where the models helped us the most, is being able to create a robust, probabilistic view of that subsurface uncertainty to justify an investment decision. But AI and geothermal isn't just about where to drill. It's about how we operate our geothermal projects. That's where EdaPro comes in, a software developed by energy and technology giant Toshiba, to optimize their operations in real time. We sat down with them to find out how AI is already streamlining plant performance and what it means for the future of how we operate our power plants. Simply put, Ada Pro is a comprehensive data analytics engine. Um, it allows engineers, analysts, data scientists, executives, plant level personnel, plant leadership, operations, maintenance staff to process real time data to identify, diagnose, and respond to both performance, thermal performance, and reliability issues. AI uh, impacts AdaPro in a number of ways, um, but truly it is a blend of AI and sound engineering practices and principles. Um, so for example, we have a series of technologies within our platform. Uh, one is called AdaPro Advanced Pattern Recognition, which uses pattern recognition technology uh, that's been a standard in reliability monitoring for many years in geothermal as, weather, as well as other um, uh, power generation sources. Um, so it's considered machine learning, which is um, a part of AI as it focuses on using data to learn patterns, make predictions, and that's precisely what um, pattern recognition does. We do see um, a lot of interest in plant operators in uh, using AI tools. Um, at AdaPro, we work with hundreds of customers. We're in 62 countries and we're on uh, over 800,000 megawatts of generation. That includes um, thermal, uh, geothermal, uh, solar, wind, hydro, nuclear. Um, so we're kind of spread out across all generation types. 
and um, AI tools are becoming um, um, a lot more critical in terms of, of how they're used. We haven't seen another product on the market like our Ada Pro Virtual Plant Thermodynamic Modeling uh, System. Um, it's designed and configured to understand the impact of thermal performance across the entire plant cycle, as well as drilling down into the equipment or asset level. Um, part of the, I guess, the secret sauce that, that we deploy is um, we build the models to reflect current conditions, so actual condition of the plant in terms of steam conditions, plant load, ambient conditions, et cetera. And that gives us an accurate representation of actual current performance. And we compare that against what we call target or expected performance. And that's where you can see those losses. And uh, uh, losses can be controlled potentially by operators or through maintenance practices or through, you know, engineered services to address an issue. I would, I would say that geothermal is slightly behind um, the other energy sectors in embracing AI and other digital monitoring tools, um, simply because um, the thermodynamic modeling has been a challenge. Um, and now that we're able to help our customers with that, um, I think there's a great opportunity for, for growth. So um, in our experience around the world, um, embracing digital technologies and AI um, is really tied to how advanced the region or country is. Um, more modern countries are way more advanced. Um, there's some countries that are now emerging and uh, starting to bring in digital. So it's pretty dynamic around the world. Um, but I would say just based on availability of technology, geothermal um, has been slightly behind, um, but we're hoping to be able to change that, um, you know, based on some of the advancements we made inside Ada Pro and Toshiba. So while Toshiba does provide great equipment, uh, Ada Pro brings in the element of monitoring it, understanding um, exactly how you can optimize thermal performance and how you can extend equipment life. Uh, that's kind of the, the key for, for all power generation is to generate the most megawatts, extend equipment life as far as possible, and minimize costs so you can make uh, maximize profitability. And so I think that blend between uh, Toshiba uh, and Ada Pro's uh, monitoring technology brings the best of, of both worlds to, to the customer. So can AI help geothermal? Well, clearly, in some spaces, it already is. I'm just relieved that there's an explanation to why we're a bit behind other renewable energy sources. We're complicated, but I think we can make it work. Of course we can. For many of us, it's still early days. Some are trying things out quietly. Others aren't really sure where to start. And honestly, no one wants to sound as if they're behind the curve. But if we don't talk about it, we won't really get anywhere either. Do you have a success story about AI or a failed experiment? Please reach out because we want to hear about it. This space is evolving fast. And if we want to shape it where it goes, we need to talk about it. Comment, reach out, share this with someone who's asking the same questions as you are. And until next time, remember this, the earth has power, let's switch it on.